Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk to you guys about my Maximus machine again. I noticed there was some questions and um, I just want to answer all of them the best I can for you guys. So that way if you are looking into buying a spray tan machine, you know what to look for and what not. So I'm sorry about my hair. It is wet. I've been air drying my hair lately because it's just a lot better for your hair so anyways let's get on into this the first question I have was do I find it easy to use and catch on to talking about my maxi mist gun when you get a spray tan machine obviously you're gonna have directions and the directions are pretty spot-on like plug it into the wall plug the hose up but when it comes to the actual machine itself, the sprayer, it can get quite, quite difficult. So on mine, you can see right here, um, there is a lever and you can push this lever up to the middle or down. Um, there is a straight across line right here representing vertical. There's a round circle right there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's a round circle and then there's one that that's the vertical that's the round and then there's one that looks just like the vertical but it has a straight line y'all can't see it there's a straight line right across it and it's that's vertical i'm so sorry guys the bottom is horizontal lord help me horizontal um and verticals on top and then there's a middle one that's a circle that's how the spray is going to come out if you want it to be a circle that's how it's going to come out if you want it to come out horizontally or spray vertically that's exactly how it's going to spray so I've done a lot of reviews and like YouTube videos I've searched a lot of them on what's best when spray tanning is some people say that they use vertical on the legs and horizontal on the arms personally what I find best for me is horizontal on the whole body um, I don't ever take it off horizontal uh, the next thing I would say on the gun is there is this back detachment part here that you can go up and down on and there's actual numbers on it and I have mine set to where you can see the four I don't know if you guys can see that or not but there's a number right there and it says four when I spray tanned my mother she was the first person that I ever spray tanned and when I spray tanned her it just started running all over the place it was so so bad and come to find out it was because I didn't have it set properly to what it should have been um, definitely no matter if you get a maxi mist or whatever you need to be practicing um, I used a cardboard box and I would flip it to each number and spray the cardboard box and see which one looked better and that's just the number that that worked better for me um, you do want to stay six inches away from the body also so definitely keep that in mind if you're far away you're not going to get a lot of mist on them if you're too close you will see running um, another thing I will say about my gun is I clean my gun every time I after I use it and I clean it with warm water and then I have also a solution that I can spray through it um, when I do that however sometimes there will be a little bit of water left in the gun and I'll go to spray someone else the next day and before I start spraying them I will spray the inside of my tent over and over again for about three times and make sure that water is out of my gun before I start spraying someone because what will end up happening is I'll reach for my gun start to spray and then there will be a run on them which is no big deal if that happens to you guys take a towel with you and wipe that area I always start on the legs so I wipe that area up and then reapply it's no big deal it's not gonna hurt anything you would rather do that than have someone streak so that's some other t little hints and whatnot and um, let me see here on this next question um, how long do the tans usually last? Tans will last up to seven days depending on 
if you're willing to moisturize or exfoliate before you tan. Um, if you do not exfoliate and you don't moisturize, your tan's probably only gonna last you three to four days. But if you exfoliate before and you get all the dead skin off of your body and you make sure to moisturize your body throughout that week, you will have a tan for a week. I do recommend to use a good body scrub and if um, you're not into lotions like I am, I do use the Vaseline spray to go and I just spray it on and it just helps everything lock in and last longer. Oh my goodness, I just exited out of that. Lord. Okay, hold on guys. Let me go back to this. Okay. Uh, do you have to use an extraction fan? No. I do not. I have never known anybody to use an extraction fan. My tent is so gigantic, I don't really think I need one. But if any of y'all are out there that use them, please let me know how it works for you and I might get one for myself. So, um, no, I have not used one. Um, and is there a lot of overspray with the tent? I have not had a ton, like, you're going to have overspray, but no matter what, when you're done, with spraying, your, or spraying yourself, spraying someone else. Like I have my husband spray me, so um, whenever we get done, I will take a towel and I will wipe everything down. Um, sometimes I'll wet it, make sure I get all of it clean, then go back in with a dry towel and uh, clean it up as well. You could also use like a Windex or anything like that. Um, you're just it's just pretty much on how well you want to maintain your tent. My tent is brown, so I don't have a problem with actually seeing the spray. Um, I am going to link a few videos that I watched that helped me learn how to spray tan. I um, It's hard to find people that are willing to like be on video. So, um, instead of that, I would definitely, I'm going to definitely post some videos below in the down bar. People ride their bicycles down this road, and it's like the worst road ever. Anyway, so I will link some videos that really were helpful, helpful to me. And then, um, because I do know that some of y'all wanted to see standing positions, and um, I just can't find anybody that's willing to stand in a bikini on YouTube. So, anyways, um, and have I tried different solutions? No, I have not tried different solutions. Uh, Norval is my go-to, and I feel like that's going to be my go-to until, um, forever. I mean, I just really can't find anything else that's better than normal. If you guys have one that you really like, please share it with me. I know Million Dollar Tan makes a tanning solution and some other big companies that sell uh, uh, self-tanners. So anyways, um, if y'all have any more questions, please let me know. I, you know, I have no problem answering them. If y'all have recommendations, please also fill me in on those as well and subscribe to my channel and like it. And um, if y'all want to see any future videos about my spray tan machine, I'll upload as many as you guys want. Just let me know what questions you have and I hope y'all have a great day and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye guys.